Hey guys, welcome back to P3D. We are down here at Dubai Airport and we're off to Mauritius today. Uh, the new FS DG scenery in Mauritius. Uh, kind of yeah, gate F25 on uh, Terminal Concourse B. Uh, we're taking off on runway 30 right today. So what we're going to do is get the plane powered up. I've always at, I've already done the um, external power. I've put primary power on for some reason, secondary power on first for some reason. But we've put both on. So, first of all, what I want to do quickly is turn these to HPA. Not click meters, there we go. And down here, click the letter B and boom, we've got a current H of 1, 0, 0, and 0. If his actions feel, so total fuel on board today is going to be 64. Uh, 581 kilos of fuel, which is level 44.4% payload to so zero fuel weight. We're heavy today, so 238, 234.9, 96% fuel. A lot of people want to go to Maud uh, Mauritius today, not Maldives. So, FMC, I should want to come down here and set FS actions in this page, click doors. Uh, why did I do that? Open entry 5 and I think it's entry 1 and or 2 which I should be opening up next time so if we come outside it's entry 2 right let's go down to pause in it and turn the ADIRUs on not EP there we go which lights can be armed and technically we've got the fuel on so we can turn the seatbelt signs on like so and we can go in on DB, which is Dubai Airport, and we get at no, we get A, not A, F25. So that can go in there. Alright. Soon a little box will come up, uh, showing us what we should be doing. There we go. And we can set the GPS or FMC GPS. Okay, maybe just this one then. It doesn't allow us to do the FMC GPS. So the, there's the route in there. Not the route. Position. Sorry, we're going to go to the route now. So, ONDB, uh, 2 Mauritius, F I M P, like so. Company route inside there. And the flight number today, UAE 703. Taking off, like I said, on 3 0 right. Check the catering is all good. Yes. Is it wait? What are we getting served by Emirates? Never seen that before. I'm not sure actually. I might have, but haven't paid attention to it. Right. Uh, we should turn the nav light on as we have power. And to start off with, our cruise today is three two zero. So a few can go in. And reserves today, final reserve of three point five. Okay. And cost index is 85. Well, I have no idea, but it assumes that it likes to default at 35, so I'm going to do that. Just execute and depart arrives. So departing at a 3 0 right on a v 3F, which is the first one there. And there's no transitions, so that goes straight in. And looks like catering is completed. Uh, so, what I can do actually is no help from Chase Plane. No, nope. experimental update has uh, broken that. Uh, let's close the doors. Yeah, there we go. That was weird. Did I just click it once? Hmm. There we go. And I can, uh, well, now I can just do that FMC3. Don't know what was broken about that, but it's a bit glitched out there. So that's fine. Go back to the route. Take off. And, well, actually, first of all, we're going to go to the thrust limit. Uh, I did show it to them. So. It is not that heavy today. Three zero right, uh, I'm taking off from three zero right, which is four thousand three hundred meters long. <laughs> it's a pretty long runway at Dubai. They want to go all out. But first of all, as it's very hot in Dubai, it's a temperature of thirty seven, and that'll be climb two, which is ninety three point nine percent. So CG can go in. Um, right. Like I said, I, I will be back once the once I've just make sure that I know what flaps that um, they do here at Dubai but first of all before we do the flaps actually 
Let's do all the takeoff weights and everything. So takeoff weight will be 299. Bang on. Casing service is completed. I'm like, here the passengers being boarded. Uh, I don't know why I quickly change a few views. I can just get arm and arm like so. That can default to 2000 there. Remember to operate the jetway. That is done. That's fine. Reference oats. So I need to open the cargo doors actually. Should have done that one. The catering is going. And we can probably set the parking brake like so. So, right. Temperature today is 37. There is no slope. And as well as that, the winds is 320 at 13. And there we go. Headwind was 12. And that's it. So what we're going to do, I'll be back and I'll tell you what the flaps they do at Emirates. Goodbye. Welcome back. And I just take, took a look. Couldn't find anything. Like, found some wing views, but then I realised I can't reduce the flaps down there. But anyway, so what I did, this looks online, the typical flap setting for takeoff. It turns out flaps 5 is a normal takeoff. Uh, flaps setting. So I just quickly selected that. The jetway is so annoying me when it just does that. I wish I wish sodas installed for every airport. That would be lovely. And I don't get uh, that. Actually, Mauritius has sod jetways. I think pass no passengers are still boarding here. I can hear them in the background. I think we're doing the same departure as we did with the Seychelles video. So what we're going to do quickly. 30 right is a heading of two two nine nine, and like so, our RSs have aligned and we can put our V speeds in there. So V two of one seven nine, and as well as that, I'm going to go to legs page root data and request the winds, and I'll set this up to thirty two thousand feet. Do you have any step climbs in our flight? Of course, do three four zero and three six zero in the end. There we go. Load that up and execute once that's completed. There we go. The winds are in for the flight. And I don't want to do the descent first of all. And I think that's already put the transition altitude in. So, still checking what it is in Dubai, which is 30,000 feet. And that is correct. So, it has put that in already. That's good. It was supposed to depart in 10 minutes. I don't think that's going to go so well, so I've got a bit of delays going on. A little triple seven in the background over there. Still waiting for everything else to load on board today. And the baggage is still taking quite a while, as well as passengers, as they always do in these massive aircraft. Right, sea gas is off, that's fine. I was just checking for these either these warnings there. But first of all, actually, let's set the pre-flight checklist. So, oxygen's tested. And let's do the co-pilot as he is not on board. Flight instruments, everything is set up. As you can see, they're all fine. Everything's amazing. That's normal. That's good. Completed that checklist. Right, our flight deck door is closed and locked. This is not modeled to be opened, but that's fine. It is closed and locked. We're not having anyone. MCP is set. So V2 of 179, runway heading of 299, and altitude of 3200. There's no, well, there is an initial climb, I think, I'm not sure. Alright, CDU pre flight is completed. Trim, well, no hydraulics, that's 00. zero. Taxi, t taxi and takeoff briefing, right. So that's pretty much it. Concourse B. And we've got a wild taxi today. I do say wild indeed. Don't know why. But what we're going to do is pretty much come off. Uh, hopefully, get a push back to the nose right, left, sorry, left, left. Uh, and I wish I could show you on the charts, that'd be nice. But hey, yeah, so kilo, pretty much going to taxi down kilo most of, the, most of the way and cross the runway 30 left via kilo 10 and then go on to 30 right, pretty much. Which is not going to take too long. Via other oh, via one three Bravo, then Mike one three Alpha. Let's come back outside. 
This is a lovely aircraft to fly. It's shame about not a shame, but I think I've set maybe like the bloom or brightness. I think it should look like that rather than massive bright bloom on the top of the white emirates. It, it is also time of day and there's absolutely no clouds. But there, there's a lot of fog always down in Dubai. But zero clouds. Uh, does it have, yeah, none reported, but visibility is seven kilometers. So that's a bit weird. So taxi takeoff briefing was done. Three zero right takeoff, sorry. And the beacon light will not come on until we've got the APU started up. So get rid of that checklist, and once the passengers have boarded, I will start the APU. And baggage is nearly completed. Right, let's set up the ND. So VORs can come on on both sides. That can zoom out to 40 with traffic activated terrain and data. This can have traffic and 10 nautical miles along with weather and data. Two gases off, which means no traffic, which is fine. Can we? Is there any like blinds option? No. Okay. Shame about the safe gate. Uh, there is actually no safe gate, which is annoying. And guess what? Sewed will fix that if you. If uh, Flight Temper actually as well, if they decide, decide to actually give an update that actually has PTD version 4 installers, that'd be lovely as well. But it's a shame that they don't. That bloom is killing me. Not too long until this is completed. Oh, hello building. Let's get out of that. And that's in the last baggage there. This is literally on the last one, just using it. This is the second last. Let's get ready for the last one there. Okay, A380. Taxiing. Is that just landed? I'm not sure. It could might have just landed on 30 right. It's, I'm not sure if we should be using 30 left, but it's AI. Don't trust them. That is a, a beach craft just landed on. Not land it's taxiing at the moment. Since so A380s is uh, getting really confused about it. It's like, uh, uh, hello? So, probably because the after cargo door, once this guy actually lowers his. Whatever you call those things. Baggage things, that's what I call them. <laughs> that guy's on his way. And he's lowering down, which I think we are cleared to. Close the after cargo door, like so. Uh, I don't know what, we should go to any ref on that one. Stay on the V speeds. Actually, it's V1 of 169, VR of 177, and V2 of 179. There we go. That's the V speeds in there. Not too high today. Uh, about average, I would say. Don't hear any passengers getting boarded. I don't remember them saying as they've boarded, but there you go. Close the doors. Get rid of the jetway. AP is starting up on that. Come back onto that door and let's go to the checklist. Set the beacon light on. And that checklist is completed. Next one is before taxi checklist. Set this onto the engine page and we'll be on our way soon. Right. Pretty much waiting for this guy to get ready and go. That jetway is now. Is that moving? Yes, that is moving ever so slow. There we go. It's finally caught up with itself, and the wheels are doing something crazy. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they think they're doing as well. And as well as at Mauritius, we'll have boarding completed. Multiple jetways hooking up to the aircraft, as which is so jetways, which is absolutely amazing. Seatbelt signs are on. It's fine, no need for camera lights as it is the day. So, passengers will be fine and take a look at the cameras on board to this flight. Right, let's go request GSX for pushback. Obviously, it does not understand how the Dubai Airport works, so I'm going to have to request a show pushback.
Here it is. This is hooking up now. Just doing last minute checks. The APU is running, as you can see. Uh, secondary power is like not on, so we can double check that. We go to stats page. You can see that res per minute or RPM is fully 100%, so we can get rid of all the external powers. And we can remove everything, as you can see, it says up there. It's getting very annoyed. Ground connections, remove the wheel chocks. Turn back there. And we can go back to the check engine page, I'll say. As well as flight directors can now come on as we're ready for pushback. Right. Pumps come on. Do we have any fuel in the center? We do, we only got two tons. So we can turn those center pumps on. It is uh, warning, uh, warning me about pressure, but those should uh, turn off in the mo. Once. I don't know, does it? If I go to the fuel page, I'll probably leave that fuel in the center. Because the only APU is just drawing it from the center. Right, starting all wheel. We could turn off the center pumps and not use them actually in this flight. We can use them as a backup reserve and only use it from these tanks. Right, we're going to start engine number two after we've got all the hydraulics loaded up. So, right ELEC, left ELEC. I'll wait for the fault lights to turn off and then we need to go and turn all the rest of the hydraulics and boom, start the engine. So, engine starts on the right. Oh, that's the engine page, and there goes the fuel. Bang that in. We'll probably set the packs to auto as well. Wait for the start thing to start switch, sorry, to cut off, and then we'll be on a starting in row one. GSX down there. Yeah, at the moment, I'm trying to like activate the chase plane thing. There we go. Let's hold it for long. No. One, two, three, let go. Nice. One, two, three, let go. Okay. It's going to count on one, three, one, two, three in my head now. Ah, boom. Static camera. Let's look down here at the uh, engine start. That's a bit of a shame when walking around like that now. Got Just to buy airport for you. I did hear, hear the start switch to cut out, so start number one. Get the fuel. It'll push back until we hit the line. Which actually, I'm going to say once we hit the end of this line here. Like so, stop here. The aircraft is not moving forward, which is good. Engine is starting up, you can see down there. Setting parking brakes, and they are set. See all the notifications of notifications. Warnings have really cool cut out. They're just due to engines not starting up. See that one's just gone there. Drive disc. It is very sunny and hot to buy, so I do respect the balloon. And we can, should have started the timer. That is one thing I always do. Just a tad late. Right, engines have started up. You can see the start switches have locked out. And we wait for the bleed air to come on there. And all generators are running on the engines, so we can get rid of the APU. Like so. So I clicked it and it didn't move, so I did it again. And it's fine. It's very weird. Right, anti ice is not needed. Recall is not checked. That's just T gas, which is fine. Also, break to RTO. Flight controls are not being checked in ground. Okay. There's nothing on the. Okay, now left is clear, right is clear. I just clicked weather. Oopsies. I'm just trying to find the flight controls page, which I cannot see. There we go. Forgot what that was. So, four left. Alright. All the way up. And down. Rudder left and rudder right. That's looking good. Left is clear, right is clear on GSX, so ground equipment is clear. And that's a B4 takeoff flat flats flats five and gonna quickly set the trim first before we leave of five point 
0.75, so you can see the stabilizer trim here. I'm going to set that up like so. Get rid of that. And for less than a rudder, release the parking brakes, bring a little bit of power, as you know how powerful this aircraft is. And a bit more power. Actually, I'm just going to get a massive kick to get it going. Like so. Right. We are currently now taxiing. Uh, we need to get on to Kilo, other than Zulu, what we're currently on. So let's get on to Kilo by just a little kink here, and we can get on. I think we've no, I don't know. I think I thought we were on Concourse C then, but then I realised no, we're Concourse. We are. We work on Concourse B, which is also known as Terminal B. We can't go on here, but we can on to Kilo Seven Zulu, which tells me that I have no idea where I am. <laughs> this is Zulu, actually. Wow. Apparently, this is Zulu, which actually shouldn't be. Which this is meant to be Kilo, but. Uh, in compatibilities between the airport and Navi Graph. This airport is probably this version like was released in like two thousand twelve, so it's pretty old. So we are actually meant to be taxiing on this. Part two is that a Qatar A three something? Let's wait for it to come past. A three twenty I'd say. Yeah, A three twenty. Qatar. Let's uh, keep in line. I did forget to put these lights on, but it is the day, which is why I forgot. Right. Not long until we finish the taxi. Ah, I don't know where Kilo 7 is. I know where we are. A bit more power. Let's get that ground speed app. Up, sorry. And now I'll probably release the flaps to 5. Like so. See it there. Just trying to keep in line of the taxiway here, as you can see. See the flaps now. Yeah, you can see the slats have gone down. Flaps now. There we go, the flaps are coming down. I think I might have put too much power in there. Now reducing the power. Right, this is where we want to go to onto 30 right. This is currently 30 left. It's kilo 10, which is where we should be going at. Go off to kilo 11 actually. We get a bit of a longer runway. Just a tad. We're not sure how it's going to be. So, this is kilo 11. Swing the nose right. Runway is ahead. There's an aircraft currently on the runway. Let's try to start swinging it around. It does look like what well, it is looking like. AI taking off the to left. Which they always do, but when I was at latest time, and like when I actually went to Dubai, uh, airplanes were landing on three zero left. So I'm going to take off on three zero right, like we did. Because the aircraft is coming down. Once this is past us, we probably rotated about here actually. So what I'm going to do is set the parking brakes, a uh, bit of power, just to keep us going. So when, once we release it, we. Uh, Literally release the parking brakes, and we're already on our way. I think it's going to rotate right next to our nose. There we go. Boom. Parking brakes are released. Another A320. It is another A320. A313 apparently landing on 30 right. No, take that just took off. That just took off. That's an A313. Nice. Oh, we do have an aircraft landing. Uh, Emirates 777-200. So we've got to look out for that. So we do have a tiny aircraft right here. Coming on 30 right. Doing something. I have no idea. 
Yeah, so this is actually Mike 14, and this is literally at the end of the runway. Charts are saying the runway has been extended. So I think, currently, the runway is not 4,300 meters long. It's going to wait for that guy to go because there is an aircraft coming to land as well. Don't know if you can see this lights within the fog. Only four kilo 10 kilometers or so, four of our range. There we go, there it goes, and <laughs> rotate. That is such a slow takeoff. There we go, I can see the aircraft coming in, coming in now. Do another one behind it as well. Try to take off in between uh, without trying to hit that now, little tiny aircraft as well. Right, what we're going to see now is cabin now ready, which is good. You can see now there's a lot of GSX things popping up. And what that actually is doing is increasing the traffic density, which I don't know why it does that. It turns it down to 50. It did set up to 100 within this thing. And it should have new AI popping in. It shouldn't reduce any more frames as what it did. It actually brought in the AI, but just got rid of the models. Here we go. The aircraft is about to land. We are online. Yeah, we're fine. Just making sure we're not in the way of the aircraft it's coming to land. I have this view, and here it is. How much? Triple seven two hundred. Let's now line up behind it. Actually, that looks a bit scary. So what we're going to do? I'm just going to skip the video once this other triple seven lands. Just be sure and safe from the aircraft. The next aircraft that will be landing will be. I think that's landing. No, it's fine. So once this other 777 has landed, I can't see it currently in the fog. But 777, is it vacated? Nah, that's not vacated. Yep, so I'll skip the video once we're ready to go. Hey guys, welcome back. This is a completely different view. There is our aircraft, but this is the aircraft I thought would be landing in 30 right, but at the moment I have no idea what it is doing. Um I think it's miscalculated quite a bit. Okay, go around. Right, we'll be going now, so let's line up on 30 right. Make sure nothing's on the air on there. If we like zoom out, actually, we can actually quickly see that aircraft has vacated and bring a bit of power. There we go. So now we're ready to take off. Two gases on, lights all on, and the strobe lights. Oh, we'll get rid of the taxi light. Make sure no aircraft are on the runway. That go around aircraft is currently. Uh, it's it's got, rid of, got, rid of, got rid of itself, which is fine. Which is out of the way. Runway, right, we've now lined up. Right. What I'm going to do is start the timer. Bring in about 50% N1. That is nice. It is increasing both engines. So, there's Toga. And I have a are activated. Let's get a lovely... Oh, there we go. We're looking for... Lovely takeoff, sorry. Lovely takeoff. N1 of 93.6%. You can see the shaking of the ground as we increase our speed, which is very nice. There's 80 knots, 20 knots ago. <laughs> and our weather engine is now kicked in. We've got a 12 knots headwind. And this is such a realistic takeoff. It's taking pretty much most of the runway, which is lovely. I like this. I love the shake that we're getting. There's the other 777 200 LR there. Right. It's V1. V1. Rotate. And you can see the shaking just disappears. And uh, bring a bit more of the degrees there. Right. Release the gear. Bring it up. Gear up. Whatever you want to call it. And I didn't know. No, I was back on the flight director. That was sick. Alright, there we go. There's goodbye to Dubai Airport. Probably take a look on. The other view is with the engine. Appreciate what we've got behind us. It's cool. Right, we're probably going to have to start our turn soon. And 
we've passed a thousand feet, so we're going to start bringing the nose down. Along with the flight director. Slowly. And we'll be on our way to Mauritius. Sir, wh whatever that name is, Sir Ramsubu. That's what I like to call it. There's a ferry over there, next to the world of Dubai. World of the Earth, actually. It's in, in Dubai. Islands of the world. I'm going to start a left turn now. Did turn a bit late, but we're on time. Alright, we're above flats 5, so we're going to bring up to flats 1, like so. And flats up. There we go. Autopilot can kind of turn on. As. Okay. This is a pretty. It's a bit miserable and foggy actually. There's no rain, it's always foggy in Dubai. For some random reason. That's a sky I like to do that to us. No clouds, no clouds at all, but just fog everywhere. That checklist of before takeoff should have been overrided and after takeoff. There we go. Let's descend checklist is next. Doing a bit slow on the V nav there. Spring up a bit. So, 80 New York nautical miles and pretty much full nautical miles on there, which is 600. Is that 640? Let's check here. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna reduce that to 320. It's down to 40 actually. Let's see a bit of the corner there. And we're actually coming out of the fog now, which is good. We're just about to see the borderline of Dubai here. Don't know how YouTube's gonna take that but it's fine I can see it, there we go you probably can see a bit of that, is that the palm? oh that is the world in Dubai <laughs> right, let's see the auto brakes as off yeah, which they are, see so gas is on you see down there there's no warning and there's no warning here and we're not going to take fuel from the centre, like I said. And lights are turning off in uh, 10,000 feet, which is actually in 5,000 feet at 10,000 feet. So uh, we're not going to turn to the cinematics at 13,000 feet. You can see down here the transition altitude. So what we're going to do? There we go. It's a lovely view. Coming back into Dubai, we should see the Burj Khalifa as we fly around it, which is what this. We'll probably see it actually coming in there. Here we go, it's Burj Khalifa. That's what the Sid is meant to be like. We're meant to circle around the Burj Khalifa pretty much. There we go, you can see the tip of it there. So you should appreciate how high it is. It's around about 8,000 meters. 800 meters, not 8,000 meters, that is very stupid. But yeah, 800, <laughs> 800 meters tall, and about at the moment, double the height of it from the ground. About 6,000 feet. So, I hope you enjoyed the takeoff today. The the weird AI doing its random things. I don't know why, why I did that, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed the takeoff today from Dubai. I'll see you down into the descent down into Mauritius. Speed brakes are like, uh, nice. Ailerons, it's fine. Right, so, yeah. See you in the descent down to Mauritius Airport. Uh, it'll probably be about six hours into the flight. It's pretty long, and I hope you enjoy the cinematics today. Uh, I might enjoy them too. See you next time. Goodbye.
you guys, welcome back down to the descent into Mauritius. And currently a bit below on the VNF, that's fine. Just past 20,000 feet, so I believe the passage signs shall turn on. Which they have, you see seatbelts on down there. I have put the approach down into the FMC, you see uh, everything's loaded in with the altitudes. You apparently stay at 4,000 feet quite a while. So, that's the thing. Uh, as well as the transition altitude at 4,000. So, let's set that in there. You can purge and uh, request the new forecast for the descent now. Probably request a new one as well. Back in the VNAV. Let's zoom in on this page. And we'll zoom in on this page. That is loaded this one. I'll load that in there. And execute. Load that one. Does that actually load? There we go. We got our lovely winds there today. Is that correct? Yes. Right. We got to active skies. Check all the winds today and I'll tell you what we've got for our conditions. So it's about the the noise loss of the engines, but see you back there we go, we're back now. So altimeter at Sir Sewusaga Rangula Airport is one zero one seven. So we put that in there, uh, ready there. As well as the Cat One DME, which is all they have at Mauritius Airport, which is four hundred fifty feet. So there we go. And 440. 450, like so. That's in there. That's all set up. So yeah, the winds are at 90 uh, degrees. So 090 at 8 knots. And the true magnitude is actually 108 degrees. Oh. Let's take that off the fuel page there. Let's bring this down. See the in close, still on VNAP, which is good. And what I might do is bring these display brightness down a bit. Does that do anything? That is not the right one. What is it? That's doing nothing. I guess because what we've got to do is turn this. This is actually on Let's zoom in here. This master brightness thing's on also at the moment. So, what we can do, see, push it on and off. So, that's auto. That's off also, actually. And there we go, you can sell to increase the brightness in these displays, which I'm going to quickly do. Which is a uh, very nice. Well, that's different. That is not the one I want to do. And this one, like so, like so. And so that's probably bring back up to that. So, it's a bit dimmer, it's alright. These ones haven't been dimmed. I think you can see Mauritius in the background when approaching us. Some like boats. I don't know, what are there? What is that? The lights. It's a lighthouse. So that's the lights of Mauritius, I guess. Tip. Got the main part lit up over here. Scenery hasn't loaded in. It's fine. Okay, now it's all just coming into play. See some terrain over there. That seems a bit too dark. That inboard display. Bring that up a bit. Right. Like I said, in the triple seven, it's automatic on the ILS frequency. So, if you bring this up and get an avrad, it has already put zero. By what? What I want it to be is one o nine point nine, and that is one o nine point nine. 
at a heading of 136, which is perfect. And here comes the lag, and boom! There goes all the lights of the airport, and they are loose and flickering about. <laughs> so, seatbelt signs are on. Uh, what I can do is go to the checklist, and should have done this ages ago. I did go through all this. The recall is checked, notes are checked, auto brake. One. Landing, uh, the reason why I'm doing one, if I, sh if I find out what the runner length is, if. There we go. This is 3,000 meters long, so we're all good. So landing data, actually, we need to do. So the speed, flat's 30, needs to be as slow as possible, like so. Execute that and just make sure. And that is a landing speed of 150. So if we can set that in, that'd be nice. Like so. And this would be 170. 200. Like so. And that's all good. Because that's flight level 4 zero. That should be that one. D3 L. There's no set speed for that one, so that's fine. FC message drag is required. It needs to slow down. I just click the view button. Right, speed brakes are out. And uh, we're not slowing down at all because we are doing a fast descent for the last part of the flight. It's weird how that part of Mauritius is lit up and everything else is dark. <laughs> Can, uh, now, zoom in even more on each page again. Is that out of the way? Like 10 nautical miles on this one. I think it's 20. That is 20 indeed. I don't know what PMDG you've done. You can't actually pop out this display, but you can do that one, which is fine. But I just can't do this one. Which is a bit annoying. I can override this if I want to. I can really stand slow, flaps up, debug speed, like so. Alright, minimums and VRF is done. Approach briefing is completed. You kind of see it. And I've shown you all the. everything else, the transition attitude, the roads, and everything. So, then checklist for altimeters. Which has to be done at 4,000 feet when we change to Korean H1017 from standard pressure. So that's the V ref, not V ref, debug speed, sorry. It has speed brakes up, it managed to keep that speed, but because of descent rate, we might have to creep. Yeah, we are creeping up a bit actually, coming in like a bomb. A lot of uh, lights going on down there. That is definitely why that is lit up. All the light pollution. You can see the clouds, shadows just coming across there at night. It is about that time plus four hours, so it is currently eight o'clock. Bang on now. Uh, five hours and forty-four minutes of flying. So yeah, so eight o'clock in the afternoon at Mauritius Airport, and the whole island of Mauritius as well, and Dubai actually. Highest point in Mauritius is 2,657 meters long. Uh, high, not long. There's a light glitch is just approaching the view there. Hmm. We should be starting our left turn. See orange lights over there, and we should be probably through the clouds. They're orange, and that little lag spike there is probably the rest of maybe like sodes and stuff loading in the jetways and the rest of the airport. Let's keep that approach light on and landing lights and come on. Emirates trip seven three hundred ER. Should say this at the start of the video. They did used to use this airplane for the flight down in Mauritius, but they did once they've expanded the A three eighty fleet they did start bringing the A three eighties so, but there is no A380 good enough for this flight, uh, P3D that is, so I'm going to stick with the the plane they used to do with this flight, 777-300ER. Right, you can see the VNAV jumping about there, but you can actually see the localizer has kicked in, uh, just about start bringing the speed down to 200 now.
and you can see the speed coming down. We take a look at the there we go, flat limits. You can see that flats one is two six five knots and flats five two four five. So we're going to set flats one and five now, like so. Should be at flat level four zero. But that's um, VNAV is telling me to do that, but this isn't telling me to do that. So we're going to catch the on the ILS v oh, localizer at the moment, actually. VOR localizer. DNE. Oh, you can see our D cell point there. Where's his height? It's actually, uh, I think it's 50 feet off the ground. You come down here. It's 150 there, but charts say 50. That is not the speed. That is actually speed, not altitude. Apparently, 250, 233 feet from sea level. Which is a bit different to what this says. Uh, does it actually say anywhere? Yes, maybe the runway. Uh, if you look at the AGC chart, it will tell you. And the runway height is 183 feet, and the other side it is 98 feet. So a bit of a descent on the runway as you take off, sometimes and land. See, ILS is all kicked in, which is good to know. We actually probably going to stick on that, probably activate the localizer just to get us aligned probably because we already have activated it but we don't need it so we're going to stick onto the go around that's usually 4000 feet and once this is kicked in I'll probably kick in the localizer once this hits the triangle doubt it but it might uh, so flats 5 debug speed is hit the approach, we want to get down that, there we go, we're going to be on that triangle there, diamond. If I bring this up, it should just help itself, it should find out that it needs to descend and there we go, it is now descending, it should be. Once pilot's disconnected, and uh, we'll fly his aircraft down to the. So we're not on the flight director, we need to right, get down, right down there. So it's a fast ascent. And the speed breaks out, and out of standard pressure. Let's bring that trim down. Right. This flat's 15. And uh, gear down. But let me. It's not letting me. Why? There we go. If I actually click on the actual within the VC, that'd be helpful. All right. We can see the runway in sight as well. Let's bring this down to our reference speed of 150 knots now. The brakes are out, but we can get rid of them now. They're already producing drag. No, we're not. Okay, we're back in the ILS. We can uh, now set this to 5,000. And uh, take this checklist off. Speed break is extended because we need to slow down. Flaps not 30 yet. It's a bit of a worry. Uh, we'll be landing a bit faster than expected. Here goes flaps 30. Back onto the ILS. Let's bring the uh, nose to the left a bit. Bring the nose up again. Want to throttle as well. So power coming back in as we back. Now we're descending up slower than we should have been. There's a bit more now. 
to get back onto the Xylus. See the light, the runway lights are pretty cool. See them flashing down the uh, runway, which is, I think is part of Sode, which is a good feature. Currently a bit low. Uh, approaching minimums. Now bring the nose down again. Alright, all throttle disarmed. Right, sorry about that. You need to be quiet. Right, idle power. Let the aircraft slowly and ever so slowly. There we go. Try and get back in the center of the runway. It's idle reverse, nose is down. Right. We have now hit six knots. Versus can come in Three, and we can manually break. Or to break off. I'm going to slow, slow us all the way down to Echo. So we're going to miss Delta. Oh, sorry. I'm going to miss Delta here. Go all the way down to Echo. Right, what I'm going to do is, I'm sorry this is going to be a white screen on the right of the screen, but, sorry about that, right, put that into quiet hours like I should have done. Right, tax light can come on. Welcome to Mauritius, everybody. We can start putting a bit more of the brakes on now. Swing this to the right. And all the landing lights can come off now, including the strobes and wing light can come on for the passengers. As well as, let's just keep in line, which is good. AP can start up. Right. Swing us around here. And let's get us a gate. So, gate. And we want to be parking at heavy gate. Gate 11. And I do not request to follow me. I've got chance now. Handling by air and wishes. That's fine by me. Gate 11. Let's take a look at what that is. That was in the new terminal, which is good. I'd like to hear that. And uh, got a bit of a slow taxi now. Right, we uh, finished about 5 hours and 53 minutes. Uh, 54 minutes, sorry. Got flight time, which is good. What I haven't done yet is cleared up. So, there goes the speed brakes. Flaps can come all the way up again. But keeping the outside view, if I can try and keep that yellow line here in the same place, cool. Actually, the flaps are coming out, that's not going to be very helpful. Zoom out, but there we go. That seems like an appropriate zoom. Didn't bring all the flaps up, did I? Spamming the flats button that would help. It's very dark and really at the moment. It's not as dark as most uh, places are. Probably all the city, li the light pollution from the cities. There we go. The flaps now all the way up, pretty much. Get rid of the, some of that speed. Taxiing at 26 knots, a bit fast. There's the G8 terminal. There's nothing there apart at the moment. Because they've got a massive beast on the not A380. This is not a triple seven. This is. Let's try and get us a good zoom. Right, let's go. Yeah, what's that? These look really different. Really weird. Looks like that's a K11. Stolen my gate. I'm angry. I think we should park next to the other Emirates actually. So if I zoom in just a bit, gate 15, I'm going to change. Right. 
Let's head into here and uh, request the new Vuk and see if I can keep in the centre of the taxi line. Helpful as well. You are doing turns of 18 knots. <laughs> right, so gate 15, that is a medium, that's probably fine. It does say we can park there, which is good. And it's got two gates, that's the A380 gate, as you can see. A380 is parked there. So, you can see they've tried to model the insides. FSDG. They haven't done amazing on that, but this is a very very cheap add-on. About 20, 20 pounds. Right. You gotta like gotta say thank you. Look at that dynamic lighting on the GSX there. <laughs> right, his gate 15. APU started up uh, most likely. Yes, RPM is full on 100%. And uh, we'll turn in here. Don't like him, come on. Right. We've got a safe gate, which is good. Does it work, though? I haven't actually tested out the safe gate yet. Gate 15. Sure, I'm on the center line. Is it showing anything? No. There we go. It should be parking here. Safe gate is not working. Unless it's due to where the camera position is. No, it's not working. So, right. Go to the engines. And request deboarding. boarding. There we go. It's, it's got these things instead. If I actually go to GSX and I go to customize airport positions, what I can do, I can go to parking has a jetway, apply that, and it gets rid of these annoying ones at the front. And the back, actually. Right, so what can do? Let's click add on sewed. Go select stand and we go to terminal and we want to go to stand 15 like we are today. Dock jetway 15 to front. And that'll be one left. And back we'll go to one, two left. All available doors are serviced. And this is going to wait there until I. Well. It's going to wait there until the doors have connected up to the. Jetway. There we go. I'm gonna wait for both of them to connect up. So we can get rid of the sewed thing. I think I have to refresh GSX. I exit that out now. Press deboarding. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Uh, okay, right. Hope you enjoyed the flight today. Stand is deselected. Okay. Uh, from Emirates, uh, Dubai. Yeah, Emirates triple seven. Sorry. Got a light on the back there. We need to open the doors. Uh, a bit annoying. Does that click? Yes. Oh, sorry. Right doors. Open these two. Get all the passengers boarded. Uh, Deboarded, sorry, and the baggage going. That's, it is actually connected up, but when I request GSX, it kind of refreshed itself. So it's probably because I it's because I did reset everything for GSX. That's a bit annoying. You can see, it's not really liking it there and there and there. That's fine. I look away from the aircraft; so it's a bit less laggy. This. Do you think the time of day is helping there? And as well as that, now APU started up, but it's fine. Get rid of the beacon light and the camera lights can turn on. Right, yeah, hope you enjoyed the flight today from Dubai down to Mauritius. Uh, I'll probably do a return flight in the day. As you see, a lot more of this lovely scenery as we go on the departure. We come out and then turn around if the winds are correct. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the flight today. I'll see you in the next one and goodbye.